Today I wanted to show you guys how to fix a problem that is pretty prominent in newborn photography. Um, it could be useful for other photography, but like I said, it is a pretty, uh, pretty common problem in newborn photography, which is this red eye here. Um, some people have a really hard time getting this eye to match the other eye. It is difficult to clone it because uh, matching the texture of the skin is not always easy. You lose the wrinkles in the eye. So here is how I do this. I grab a hue saturation layer and I go into my red channel and I use the regular dropper to drop in the darkest red area of this eyelid. And then I use the subtraction dropper to drop on the flesh tone, the normal flesh tone part of the eyelid. Then I'll dra drag my hue slider all the way to the left so that you can really see the colors that it's picking up. And we're going to grab this little slider right here and drag it slowly to the left until we are just grabbing basically just the red in that eyelid. After that, I'm going to go back up to my hue slider, <clears throat> excuse me, and drag it back up and into the yellows a little bit. You'll see it getting more and more yellow over there. And you don't want to go too yellow because then it makes it look unnatural. So we'll stop at about, mm, go down to 15. It won't be the same numbers for everyone, um, but if you have a batch of photos from one setup, it's usually pretty easy to just drag this layer on over to each of the other photos to fix this eye without having to change any settings. So the next thing I'm going to do is drop the saturation down just a little bit. And then I'm going to bring the lightness up quite a bit. And you can see it just disappearing over there. Now once I've done that, I am going to invert my mask by hitting Command-I on my Mac. And then I'm going to grab a white brush. Let me close that so you can see. I'll grab a white brush and I'm just going to paint that layer on where we want it. I'll even use it up here on these little spots. And a little bit right there on the corner of that eye. And you can see, as I turn it on and off, that there is nearly no work to be done after that. I mean, if you wanted, you could clean up the little spots here and there. But honestly, there isn't a whole lot to be done, which makes that a lot easier to do. Uh, I hope that helps somebody. Uh, it's my favorite way to fix that. 